I see that Deputy Minister uh, Dr. Kamala Naradan has uh, drew flag because he reviewed the medical history of the suicide girl, said that she has an inclination to... I asked him. I asked him. Is that okay? I asked, no, no, let me listen to me first. Yeah. I asked him. He said that he did not say that. It's a reporter who suggested it. And then he re replied to what the reporter says. Okay. But anyway, it's not within his capacity to, to give that command. It's something which is within the capacity of either the police or the Ministry of Education to, to, to give a command on that. What, what would be the consequence if such command? If well, uh, well, I, to me, I think we must be fair to the family and fair to the, to the girl who is now dead. And I don't think we should come with anything which could be prejudicial uh, to harm either her name or the family's name. So I think everybody must be very careful in this. At the end of the day, whatever is said and done, a suicide has occurred. And as a result of it, one student has died. And the most important thing is to find out what were the factors which possibly pushed to the suicide so that this could be a learning process to make sure it doesn't happen in the future. And that, I think, is the best way to approach this whole issue rather than to see uh, behind that because the facts are there is a girl, a school child, age of 13, 14, who committed suicide, and it should, it's something which shouldn't happen. There cannot be anything which you can contribute towards that, right? Even the reporter suggested to the deputy minister, I mean, since it, it, it has made to the uh, headline and then the drop, drop, drop rate uh, among the civil society. Yeah, like sometimes as politicians, we have to be careful in how we respond to reporters like all of you. Uh, <laughs> if we don't, then we fall into the pitfalls uh, which, uh, which you... you, you you will dig, and then once you fall into the pitfalls, it's difficult to get out of it. So that comes with experience and maturity. So I hope all politicians will evolve. <laughs> well, I will find out exactly what he said and what he's thinking, and we'll manage it. <laughs>